Hi, and welcome back to the Pike Homestead. I'm Adam, and we are continuing with the uh, chicken coop build in our barn. So, uh, where we last left off, I had just been putting up the mesh on the upper part here. That is closed in. I took a quieter day yesterday, and we added just at the end, we added some boards there, because in winter we get to, you know, minus 40 at points. So we figured if the door is open on nice days, it might be nice to have a bit of a windbreak. Uh, just to, you know, keep the cold from coming straight into the chicken coop. And we did something similar on this end as well, just just a shorter section because there's a couple of weird sections around the box down there and everything, so it was just easier just to, and cleaner to use up some boards from our old chicken coop that we built back at the rental house. Um, you know, it's already painted red to match what I've got. And just put them in there and make use of them and, uh, and make it a little bit more solid for the mesh. And, and make it a little cleaner. I've got some noisy helpers with me today. Uh, so the plan today, um, while I was working, I had a chance to move the, uh, the laying boxes uh, just to get them out of the way of where we're going to be putting the dividing fence for the rooster side. And um, so they're now out of the way and I can start working on that because they were all empty at one point yesterday, so I just quickly grabbed my drill and unscrewed them and moved them down. That's not going to be the permanent position for them uh, because our, we are going to be having a lot more hens, a lot more layers, because we want to have a, a lay, egg laying flock and be you know, selling eggs locally at our, at our local markets and stuff. Uh, so we're going to ideally have you know 250 to 300 laying hens. So we're going to need a lot more boxes. So that's just kind of a temporary spot for them. Uh, uh, so anyway, my plan today is to get ready to start building the rooster side of the coop. And that means moving the roost here down to this interior corner, which, you know, it was, this is where it's currently at is an exterior wall. Um, so in the winter, again, that's going to be the coolest part of the coop. And, you know, they were fine and comfortable in it last year. You know, they started laying again after a week or two in the barn here, uh, after being out in the cold coop without the heater outside where the roosters currently are. Uh, well, well, a big chunk of them. The younger boys are still in with the, mixed in with the flock. <sighs> My noisy girls. So anyway, so we're going to move that into the interior wall. So it'll be here in the corner and right over here near the door is where the heat's going to be coming in from, uh, from the ducting I'm going to put into the, uh, to the furnace. So it'll be the warmest part. Um, so that with, you know, the daylight kind of bright lights that we've got in here, I hope, you know, with the, the heat and that, we'll keep our laying up a little bit better than what we had last year. Um, but again, we, you know, the, the majority of our layers are, are Orpingtons, so you know that again, that's only in ideal conditions, that's only 200 eggs a year. So we're definitely going to be seeing a slowdown. Uh, we're still getting, you know, about an egg every day or two from all of our hens. Um, you know, we just don't have that many active layers at the moment because we've got one who's broody, we've got one who's got all her chicks, so she's not laying. And then there's Chip, who's, you know, finally graduating away from taking care of her chicks because they're mostly floating around on their own now, uh, just the three little troublemakers. Uh, and she's off doing her own thing, and she's she'd probably start laying sometime soon. She's always been very consistent. Um, anyway, the hens seem happy with the move, too. Like, it's it's full before we even got in here this morning. So that's a good sign. They're, they're happy with the change. I've been blathering long enough. I'm going to get started. So I want to... Move that the roost bars. I also want to reposition the the kind of feed fence here to keep the goats out. I'm gonna put it somewhere here in the middle, and uh, and yeah, so so we can get it out of the way, and I can start building you know the rooster portion of the coop, and then we can close that in. So ideally, I'm gonna get that all moved fairly quickly, get the floor swept up, and then I can start building the uh, building the framework for the new wall. And look. 
Mama and her chicks have now arrived. And Amelia joking at you. All right, so I'm gonna get working on that. So uh, come along. is done now. Um, I'm happy with this. I have a bit more space to give the chickens room, make it easier for me to get in and out and feed and water them until we get this all where it can be permanently closed up or it's only opening for me to come in and do the chicken chores every morning and that we have them their own external doors to get out into the yard. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to that but we're still a while away from it so for now uh, this is a good option so they can still get outside while the weather's still warm enough and not have the goats coming in and stealing all the food. So it's been very effective so far. Good use of, you know, the old fashioned gates for the time being. Um, and so, yeah, now I can actually get working on cleaning up the rest of the hay and stuff to get going on laying down the new floor and framing for the uh, division in, in the fence here. Uh, so if I can get that done today, that would be fantastic. Um, and there's not a lot to clean up and then once that's done I can close up that next fence and start bringing in new bedding for the chickens because they've been without it for a few days now uh, so I'd like to get that done and sorted out just to, just to keep it cleaner easier and yeah and it will be better overall so anyway I'm going to get working on uh, cleaning up and getting prepped to uh, to put in the new frame the frame for the new section of wall here a bit of a challenge because uh, as this is a barn uh, and it was originally made for pigs uh, they the floors are definitely slanted coming down and if you look here on the floor you see that crack there so it's it's relatively flat like it's it's a drop of about two inches from the midpoint like from the from the path down to that crack and then that it drops another two so it's quite slanted. Now there is um, drainage here, right? So it's for, for cleaning out the stalls and everything and just wash it down there and get it cleaned out. Um, it is all just covered with wood to keep things from falling down. Uh, it's the way it was when we moved in and I've just kind of kept it that way. Uh, we've got some ideas for a fix on that in the future, um, but it's not going to be something we get done right away just because I don't really have the materials handy for it. Uh, so it's not an issue so far, um, especially 
in this corner under the roost, the wood is definitely not in not as good a condition. Uh, so I might just shift some of the boards around just so that in critical areas like that, <clears throat> it's got the better boards. But I'm not gonna not gonna do that right now. Uh, I'm focusing on this wall. So yes, it's gonna be a challenge because I've got you know I've been measuring out, I've blocked it in just so I can get an accurate measure of what I need for my uh, for the studs for the for the fence here. <clears throat> so it's a matter of you know 87 inches at the wall side here, and then well here we've got the venting in this. So this is a flap that you open to get airflow through and vent it, especially in winter when they're stuck in here for a lot. Um, especially with pigs and everything, you'd want to get the fumes out. And then when we have a lot of chickens in here, we want to be able to open that tube. So I can't really block that off, right? Because we can bring it down and then get some better airflow in and out, which is just to the benefit, even though, you know, it, it means we might spend more in heating and stuff in winter. Um, the airflow is actually beneficial to the chickens as well. Um, so I want to, I've got to have access to be able to open that. Um, and it only drops down like, I don't know, 10 inches. <laughs> and, uh, but that means that I can't have the ceiling beam just going, like it just goes up to it. So it won't block it. And then, so right, you know, about where that is, that's 92 inches. So that's, that's a shift of what, five inches from one side to the other. So that's a fairly significant, you know, transfer. Whereas with this wall, the lowest point was, you know, about, um, what, two inches off what uh, what the highest point was. So it really wasn't that big of, a dish of an issue, but uh, five inches, that's pretty big. So I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna have to go through. I will do, you know, do a, like a 92 inch or 91 inch cut on, on this end and an 87 inch cut on this end, and then just measure up my, you know, at my four foot marks for the, uh, for the others and cut them to size and see if I can't get it up. So uh, I think that's what I'll do. Um, you know, and even still, if you look down here, that's going to be floating. I like guess that's, that's not even pressed all the way to the floor. And I'm not going to worry about that because I'm going to be putting, again, I'm going to be putting boarding like that along the bottom so I can kind of cut that to size or to the shape and have it level across the top uh, because yeah we're gonna have the uh, we're gonna have the nesting boxes on this wall <clears throat> kind of helping build a, a, a barrier between the uh, between the roosters and the rest of the hens here just to keep the piece a little bit better so I'll have a, a foot of boarding along the bottom here and then I'll have uh, nesting boxes on top of that and that should uh, block off everything so anyway I am going to uh, continue on here. I've got my measurements on what I need to cut and I will uh, try to kind of Tetris this in here and <laughs> see if it works. Got it done today. Got the structure up for the uh, 
the last points to build in. And Mother Hen is, is protecting her babies <laughs> around the, feed, the new feed area. <laughs> from another hen, so they can stay away from my kids. Well, you learn. Um, <laughs> everybody okay? Good job, mama. You should know better. Anyway, so, got the structure up. It's uh, about as plumb as I can make it with this floor. And yeah, we are, uh, Ready to start uh, building in a separate uh, separate building here, and uh, get a coop for the boys. But we are uh, we're trucking right along to get ready for winter here, and I'm happy with the progress. So uh, yeah, come back with me next, tomorrow, and we'll start uh, putting up more mesh and some more uh, some more base building. All right, thanks for hanging out with me today. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow.